Hey, beautiful beauties, wonderful lovelies, a pleasant morning to you. Now, this is a subject that has been tabooed because many people are suffering in silence. They don't want to talk about it because they don't want the society's backlash. I'm not sure if today, you know, when I say today, in today's, uh, today's time, you know, this 21st century, if people will be as vitriolic and against a particular set and that is a children. No, you know, the Bible talks about honoring your father, honoring your mother, that your days may be long upon the land. And you have different interpretations. It can be viewed upon as the length of your days, one, or it can be viewed, viewed upon as the quality of your days because you have people who not necessarily have the best relationship with their parents and they live long. <laughs> and, and vice versa, those who have wonderful relationships and their, their, their physical life has ended quickly. Now, one of the sad realities is that because you know we don't get into the etymology of the word meaning the root and an in-depth study of all the commandments and the commandment that says honor your mother that your days may be long upon the land if you notice other commandments it doesn't speak about if you don't do this then this will happen you know so it but it is silently understood that there is a consequence if you should breach any of them if there is a misconduct or a breach you know something will happen um, look at the first commandment, for example. It is God has, in his infinite, infinite wisdom has put them in a particular order because they take precedence. You know, it's not necessarily that, you know, one sin, but sin is sin, but some will still carry more weight because some can be immoral, but not necessarily illegal. Uh, but some are both immoral and illegal, if you understand. And the matter of children, because we don't definitively hear if you do not provoke your children to wrath or you will be punished or this will happen to you. We assume that what has happened is that many parents have taken disadvantage of that scripture and not, and has not paid it any mind. We kind of throw it aside because it's not like the ones that is in favor of them. So they feel they can abuse their child mentally, verbally, physically, and otherwise. And there are no consequences. But you need to understand, there's a reason when God says, do not. If you don't follow when he says, do not, a consequence will hit you. Many of you are terror in the lives of your children. Whether adult children, adolescents, or are, are very, very young. And you need to stop it. Because God is, and some of you, he's holding accountable when they say the crosses are go through in a life are because of the treat and the picture, they're bad. And they want to cry out and afraid because they don't want the backlash. But I pray God will bring them peace and comfort as children. Guys, follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share this.